Hello and welcome. No, you are seeing correct. This is three President HR 2510s. Just thought I'd uh, share with you my latest acquisition. I do have to thank a local here in town that held on to these for a while for me and uh, he gave me a very good deal. So very pleased about that. The uh, status of them are all questionable right now. But I'm sure having three on hand, I should be able to get at least one working unit. So these 2510s do have a good reputation. I am a, a single sideband operator, so that's where they excel. And uh, normally I am a, a base unit kind of guy. But uh, this is something that's, uh, if it has potential, I'm in. So let me pull the covers off these and see what I got on the inside. Well, here we have our three amigos all lined up. Let's take a closer look. So this one looks to be in uh, pretty good shape, like it just came from the factory. I uh, don't see any damage on anything here. I do see a uh, number of electrolytic capacitors. Looks like maybe another kit is going to be created here. This one does look like it's got a little more trouble to it. This might be more of a parts one if you look. Down in there, there's my pointer. Looks like I have a... Uh, broken main board. I think this one was uh, dropped. If you look here, this is bent there. Broken there. Although not catastrophic from this point of view, let me. Uh, Flip these guys over. Let's take a look at the bottom half. Okay, so this is the one that uh, looks like it was dropped. That section there looks okay. But looking over here, we can see the back panel there. Actually, it's uh, cracked there. And here's where we can see the uh, board is cracked too, so a lot of those traces there are broken. So that one there, that might be just a parts radio. This one looks to be in better shape, although with a little bend there, looks like that one was um, possibly dropped too. Seems like if you dropped it, maybe on the uh, on the back half there, it caused some damage. 
So that one looks like that's a potential there. This one here as well too. Lots of electrolytics. Actually, these look fairly new. I think this is a mid-90s creation. I know looking at the earlier vintage stuff that I work on, uh, you can see here that these have uh, electrolytics have uh, venting creases on them. Actually, you can see these ones here don't. So, looks like we're just starting to introduce that venting crease. Well, that looks okay. You can also see here on the uh, main chip, got the epoxy here. Guess I'll have to be uh, getting out the uh, heat gun and getting rid of that stuff. I mean, if you look on the uh, on the board, there it says. 1988 Uniden. So that one has the least amount of damage, but look at the front. I think this is the worst front. So this looks like uh, this would have been number two choice. And he's got a crack there too. And then the one that's really busted up has the best looking front. Isn't that how it goes? Well, it definitely looks like I'm going to be uh, building a Frankenstein here out of uh, these three boxes. So, more radios for the repair. For repair. I was just trying to think of a word. I got my hands full with a bunch of other stuff. As you have been following some of my other videos, I still have some to finish off. So I will uh, button these guys up. And um, get back to them someday for part two. Thanks for watching. See ya.